Hi, this is Lee Giles from Easy PC All in One Homeschool. I'm here to tell you another story. Um, just a little one tonight. Um, this one's one of our special stories uh, we like to share. One of our family stories we tell the kids. Um, this is from Istanbul. Um, we were doing our language learning towards the end of that year, and we were getting ready to move into um, a slum area, to the red light district. And um, it's when um, my husband, that story about the story of the thousand dollars in the bank starts um, with this moment. Um, my husband went on a fast and um, came out of that deciding that he was going to leave his job and we were going to leave our missions agency, stop raising support. And we're just going to work for Jesus. Um, talk about it as like stepping out, out of the boat. Um, just going to live by faith. Um, and so it was right after that happened, I mean, maybe within days, um, God gave us like an encouragement that we made the right decision, um, that he was in this and he just showed us, you know, gave us a little glimpse of how he could provide for us. Um, even if we didn't have income and you know, this never happened before this day and it never happened after. Um, he was just, you know, showing, he was giving us an encouragement. He's a father. He was, um, he was encouraging us and showing how he could take care of us. Um, and just saying here, see, look what, just showing us a little hint of what he could do and how he would provide for us. Um, you know, different times people brought us things and stuff like that. But, um, anyway, the story is that um a uh, Roma who are the gypsies a Roma seller um I don't know how he knew where we lived but we did um make a point of stopping and saying hi to the different Roma sellers in the streets and stuff like that because in Macedonia we had um been part of a Roma church we lived in a Roma village um we like learned the Roma language my husband can like preach in Romani so we'll make a point to, you know, say hi, introduce ourselves, um, see what language they spoke and things like that. And so some of them knew us, even though we didn't, we we're just doing our language learning and living, um, not near them at that point. Anyway, um, so this guy, like I said, never happened before, never happened after. This guy um, came to our apartment after his day's work and brought us all the leftover fruits and vegetables from his cart. He would go sell in the streets. Um, everything he hadn't sold that day, he brought to us. And on the way, he stopped and got treats for the kids, including a whole cake. So that's what we had for dinner that night. Um, our little harvest bounty from the Lord. And we ate our fruits and vegetables. And then we had cake. And um, from that, our family has this expression that we say to ourselves and to the kids, the Lord provides cake too. You know, he doesn't just make us eat our vegetables. Um, he gives us abundant life, not just scraping by life. Um, and that means a lot of things, not just, you know, money and food and such. Um, but there's abundance and life in Christ. And he's a good father, right? Um, and again, it's something, you know, we didn't have to ask for. And it's not even, it's not something we needed. We weren't out of money. Um, but he was just showing us that he was there and taking care of us and that he would be there to take care of us. And he's there to take care of you too. Uh, just let him give your life over to him to take care of you. All right, I'll be back tomorrow with another story.